I'm Jessica. Thank you so much for joining me for today's seated workout. We are going to be using a combination of cardio exercises to help us with heart health and weight loss, combining those with yoga and strength exercise to tone the upper body and improve our posture. So really great variety in this workout here today. You don't need any equipment besides your chair and a little bit of space to move. Go ahead, get set up and we're gonna get started right now. Great job here. Let's go ahead, get our warm up with some of those great yoga exercises to open up that upper body. We're gonna take an inhale here, raise those arms all the way overhead and take it on down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stretch those arms all the way up. Exhale, cactus arms here, stretch those chest muscles up and open. We want them to stop pulling us forward into slouching. Release those arms on down. Inhale, take them up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll that up through the spine. Bring those arms overhead again. Exhale, cactus arms here. Stretch them back overhead, fold it forward. This time around, we'll go ahead, send the right hand to the thighs and we'll inhale, open up here on the left. Again, stretching through the chest, a little bit through the back. Gaze can come down to the floor. If it feels a little tight through the neck, switch that arm out, open it up here on the right side. Great job here. Exhale, take that down, reach for the floor, give it a wiggle, roll it on up one more time. Inhale, take those arms up. Exhale, cactus arms here. Good, try to keep the rib cage in between the chest and the hips, drop those arms on down. Right ear over to the right shoulder, up and over gently to the left up back through the center. Take this right hand and gently grab the left thigh and we're gonna look over the right shoulder here, feeling a stretch on that left side. Switch them out, left hand to right leg. Look over that left shoulder. Hopefully the body's warming up a little bit, feeling a little stretched out. Back to the center, inhale, take these arms open. Exhale, stretch them back without pushing the stomach or low back forward. Reach them down, send the heart up, lift the chin just a touch. And then we'll inhale, stretch those arms up and back to the back of the head. Work those elbows open, push the head back into the hands. Good, same thing here, belly button stays in between the rib cage and the hips. Ease that on down, give it all a little wiggle and bring yourself to a nice, easy walk here. We've gotten some really great stretches in. We're gonna pick up that heart rate with a little bit of light cardio here. Give me some arms. Great job here. Little bit bigger, little bit faster. When I think of cardio, right away, I think of jumping jacks. Let's get in a nice set of 15 here at your own pace. Five more to go if you're following me. Last one here, great job. Let's get into those back muscles a little bit. So we're gonna stretch open the front of the body. We're gonna strengthen the back so that it can pull us up and out of this forward slouching posture or head forward neck hump. We wanna avoid all of that. Hands come here to the front, pull it back. If you would like, you can get a step here or a tap back. Don't lose work through those back muscles. Feel the shoulder blades work in and down towards the spine. Continuing to pick up the heart rate here, you're doing good. Good. Shoulders stay out of the ears, neck nice and tall here. Good. 
Heart rate should be coming up. We have a few more sets. Stay here. Last set here. Drop those thumbs down to the sides. You're gonna give me a thumbs up here in the front. Open it out, point to the wall behind you. Squeeze those back muscles, great job. Keep the belly in, don't let it push forward. We don't wanna push the rib cage out to the front. Squeeze and release. Shoulders stay out of the ears, spine nice and tall. More to go here. Last two. And one. Bring it back to that march. Let's pick that heart rate back up. Great job. We'll add in a little variation. This time here, we'll go ahead, punch those arms up or out to the front, depending on what feels better in your shoulders. Give me a kick here, soft through the knee. Good. Two more sets. Last one here, back to those jumping jacks, 15. Great job, little bit of a bonus one there. We're going to take the right hand here and you're gonna stretch, reach it through, lift it up without bringing the shoulder to the ear, so keep it down. So we're just going to lift through and up. Feel those back muscles working here. You can give yourself a little more space if you need to. Good, try to work from this middle back area down here, rather than up in the neck. Those muscles are a lot stronger. They try to take over. Three more on this side. Last one here. And let's go ahead here, break it up with a little more cardio. Arms come up overhead. We're gonna step out to the side. Give me those cactus arms stretching through the chest. Little bit quicker here this time. Great job here. One more set. Bring it to that walk. Awesome, you know we've got those jumping jacks here, 15 of them. Count them here. Stay with me. Two more. Last one there. Drop that left arm down to the side, heart rate comes up. Same thing here, lift, trying to feel those back muscles rather than up here. High in the neck and the shoulder. Swing this arm through, it doesn't have to be big today. You can make this smaller, modify it if you need to.
stay here with me. Five more to go. Last one here. Great job. Give that arm a little bit of a wiggle. Take those hands here to the front and again, pull and tap back. Pick that heart rate up. Move quicker here if you can, but don't skip the work for those back muscles. Last set here, and bring it on in. Give me that walk. Keep that heart rate up in between our strength exercises. We'll again cool down with a little bit of yoga. We'll take some yoga for strength, and then work our way to yoga for stretching at the end of this workout. All right, jumping jacks, you ready? 15 of those here. Three more. And one great job there. We're gonna go ahead, take those fingertips to the back, press those elbows back. You're gonna slide the chin down and back, getting this neck back into posture with the rest of the spine. If it doesn't wanna go all the way, don't force it. Don't work into pain, but work where you can with that. Open those elbows back without pushing the head forward. Five more here. Last one, great job. Wiggle it out, stretch those pinkies out. We're gonna push pinkies back, fold it over, thumbs back. Pinkies back, thumbs back. No bouncing through that torso, all in the arms, the shoulders and the chest. Back muscles are working, chest and shoulders are stretching. Gonna feel a little bit of work in those shoulders. Great job, you're almost there. I know, I feel this too. It's big in the shoulders. Stay tall through the neck, keep your form. You have two more sets, thumbs, pinkies, thumbs, pinkies, <laughs> drop them on down. Great job, give me that march here. Last little bit of cardio exercise here. We'll pick that heart rate up. And then again, like I said, we'll go to those yoga for strength exercises. Work our way through yoga for stretching exercises. That will be the cool down and you will be on your way. So you're almost there, hang in here with me. Great job, get this heart rate back up. Final time here. Raise those arms up, overhead, step it out. Pull those shoulders down, elbows down. Stretch through the chest here. Halfway there. Two more sets, last one here, 15 jumping jacks. Fourteen, fifteen. Bring it on in. Give it a shake. Great job there. Last little bit to go. Let's go ahead here. Roll those shoulders up and back. Give me those thumbs here to the front. Press those arms back. 
try to stay shoulders out of the ears. It's easier said than done. We're in a wide position here. Great job to bring it on down. Give them a little bit of a shake if they need it. Let's take them out, thumbs up, press it back. Squeeze those back muscles without raising the shoulders. Don't let this part do the work. That part's already way too tight as it is. Strengthen the back so it can pull and hold us up and open. Great job. Bring those arms on in. I feel the shoulders. All right, that's okay. They'll be all right. We will stretch them out. Hands come straight up, push them back. Good, don't push the jaw and chin forward. Keep it tucked back. Nice alignment through the spine. Same thing goes for the belly button and that low back. It stays in between the rib cage and the hips. Last two here, last one. Great job, bring it on down, ease it on out. Let's go ahead, repeat some of those gentle stretches to reopen the front of the body. And then you are on your way. Open those arms up here. Exhale, let the body fall to the right. Left arm opens back a little bit bigger this time. Gaze can come down to the floor. Sweep that arm up and in, stretch it over, find that right thigh, bring the body up, look over that left shoulder, and then bring it on over, look over the right, down to the floor. Slide that left arm to the left side, bring this right arm on up and we'll open it back, gaze comes down to the floor. Stretch open through that chest. Really common area of tightness. Bring it up and in. Let it land to that left leg. Bring yourself up. Look over the right shoulder. Gentle. Back over to the left. Heart rate should be easing back down. Look down towards the floor. Stretch through the back of the neck. Hands come to the thighs here. Tuck the chin, slide it up and back. So if you have where a baseball sits on the head or maybe a ponytail, you're gonna press into that area just creating length. So imagine someone kind of drawing you up, a string pulling you up and then slide back. Feel these neck muscles work to strengthen, to pull the neck back so if you tend to sit with the head further forward or a little bit of a slouch. We want to get you out of that posture. Two more here. Great job. Let's go ahead and release that low back one more time. Make sure we didn't Build up any irritation there with any of our cardio. Hands can rest on the thighs, or you can ease it forward wherever you feel. A better stretch. Roll that on up nice and easy. Pick those shoulders up and back. Reset here. Try to encourage good posture throughout the rest of your day. And this video is here anytime that you need it. You really want to stretch open the fronts of the chest, the fronts of the shoulders, get them stretched up and open and strengthen those back muscles so that it can keep us here. We can bring ourselves to good posture, but having the strength to stay there through our daily movements, it goes hand in hand with that stretching and flexibility. So anyways, come back to this video as you need it. It is something that we will continue to work on together. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss the next great posture workout walking workout, cardio workout, yoga workout, a lot of variety here on this channel. Meet me back here for the next workout. You did amazing today. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again soon.